Today, I'm going to show you how to make great sounding chords and chord progressions, even if you don't know anything about music theory at all. A chord is a combination of three or more notes played together, like this. If I just play a single note, it doesn't sound so good. But when I play several notes at once, I create harmony, which sounds much better. A chord progression, or harmonic progression, as it's also called, is a combination of chords played in succession, like this. This is a chord progression from one of my own tracks. I'll teach you how to make chord progressions like this, but first let's cover some of the basics. You can make great sounding chord progressions without knowing music theory, simply by using your ears. The thing about music is that if something sounds good, then it sounds good. You don't need music theory to tell you that. You only need your ears. That said, it can be very beneficial to know at least a minimum of theory. One of the most important things you should know is the four most common kinds of chords. These are major, minor, diminished, and augmented chords. They all sound quite different, and the way they are combined is what determines the harmony of a track. For example, major chords tend to be quite happy sounding, while minor chords tend to sound more sad or dark. This is important because selecting the right chords will help you set the mood of your track. Music is all about emotion, so if you want to make sad and serious sounding music, then it wouldn't make sense to only use just major chords. Music theory can tell you what works and why, so it can definitely be useful in that regard. That said, today we'll just be using our ears. Before you start, you need to determine what kind of genre you want to produce and a scale. It can be helpful to go to Beatport and check out your favorite tracks in the genre you want to produce, like, say, Progressive House or Uplifting Trance or whatever. You can easily see what scale they are in here. It might be a good idea to use a scale that's commonly used for that particular genre. If you combine a lot of notes that's not in the same scale, it won't sound good. Fortunately, FL Studio can help you stay in the correct scale. Go to the Helpers menu and select a scale. Now you can see the keys that are in this scale are highlighted. Optionally, if you want to make it even easier to see, you can make some ghost notes. If you have the unison chord pack like I do, then you can simply drag in a chord in any scale. But I'll get back to that later. Let's start making some chords. Remember that a chord progression is like a journey. You want to go somewhere and then come back again so that it can be looped. Copy this an octave higher.
copy it again and put it in between somewhere so that it sounds good. Voila! You now have some basic chords. You can of course play around with the notes to make it sound even better. Here's a useful tip. Press the Alt key on your keyboard and right click to quickly audition the chords. This makes it much easier to hear what works and not. You can also use the stamp tool to create chords. You can then easily select different kinds of chords and just stamp them in like this. Now this is quite easy to do, but it's all very basic. You'll get better harmonies if you do something like this. Let's start out with the root note of the scale we're in. Just fill in notes by trial and error until it sounds good. Focus on the higher notes. It's usually enough with one bass note for each chord. Make some changes and see what works best. And add some held notes higher up. This is starting to sound pretty good. You could now copy this and make some strings and pad layers for a nice sounding breakdown part. Alternatively, if you're making house music or something like that, then you might want to turn the chords into more of a rhythmic pattern. The Chop Tool in FL Studio is quite handy for this. Let's add some side chaining to this to get that pumping effect. Or you could do something like this. Let's add some percussion as well. I just got my hands on the Unison Chord Pack and it contains some great sounding percussion loops for various genres. So let's see if we can find something catchy we can use. Well, that sounds quite cool. You can now use the bass notes as a guide to add a bass line, for example. Let's add some strings, too. We can also change the piano to something like this to get a whole different feel. This is really up to you. You can do pretty much whatever you want. 
You can now start adding top melodies, effects, and so on to build the rest of your track. Now, another thing you can do, and this is the easiest way to get good results quickly, is to use MIDI files from a chord pack, such as the Unison Chord Pack. It can be quite inspiring to listen to pre-made chord progressions. You can then jam along to it, and that way you can easily come up with new melodic ideas and such. Here you'll find all kinds of chords and even complete chord progressions all nicely labeled. Just drag and drop. Awesome! I have my pack added to the browser, which makes it even easier. There are many different MIDI packs out there, but this one is perhaps the largest I've seen, which is dedicated to chords. It also includes a short crash course in music theory. If you're totally blank when it comes to music theory, then you'll find this very useful. It's a 15-page walkthrough, which will teach you the most important things when it comes to chords and chord progressions. So if you're struggling with chords, or find it hard to find inspiration, then I can definitely recommend this pack. Make sure to use the link in the description below if you want to check out this pack, and you'll get a 60% discount. And by the way, I don't consider using MIDI files cheating. No one will know if you plotted those chords in yourself or not. In the end, the listener only cares about how it sounds. What do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? And if so, then why? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know if there's any particular video you would like me to make next. Thanks for watching.